How's it going guys? So in today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make a really useful camera rig that you can use in a lot of different environments and situations. But first I'm gonna let you guys know that my Black Friday sale just started today, 50% off all of my products on Blender Market. Be sure to use this code at checkout. That gives you real-time materials, which is over 200 procedural materials. It's a really cool add-on. You can also get my animation course and my shading course 50% off on Blender Market. If you wanna check that out, hit the link in the description, and of course, use that code at checkout. Now, with that being said, let's get into the tutorial. All right, so I just have this uh, object here that I made. Uh, just go ahead and throw any object you want in the center uh, as your focal point for this rig. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this object for now, and we need three pieces to create this rig. We need to go ahead and, of course, get our camera. We need to get a uh, empty, we're just gonna use a plane axis here, but honestly, this represents just any object. Uh, we're using a plane axis because they don't actually render visually. You don't want that. Uh, and then of course you also need a curve, uh, a circle. Uh, in this case, this gives us something the camera is going to rotate around, uh, but you can also use say like a path uh, and then you can kind of distort it, uh, but you can also just kind of like move it around and uh, the camera can be attached to that and the camera can move. Uh, but we're gonna use a circle in this case because it just, it, you know, Whatever, it's just the, cho the choice that I made. Uh, but keep that in mind so you can kind of use this process for anything you want. Uh, with that being said, now we can set this up. Uh, and this is gonna rely on constraints. If you've never used constraints, they're very, very useful and they allow things to attach to other things and move around and kind of talk to each other. I highly encourage you get into them and learn about them. Constraints are used in this animation to get those spheres to kind of move around the other object. They're attached to something with constraints. Uh, so click on your camera and we're gonna go ahead and go to the constraints tab, which is right here. And we're gonna get a follow path. And the path is this guy. Uh, they're called curves here in the menu, but they're also called paths. Uh, so we'll go to the camera and select the Bezier circle. Notice the camera is gonna clamp straight to this object. I'm gonna go ahead and just hit S and scale up my object. And I'm gonna show you the first issue we're gonna have with the rig is notice when he starts to move around, he doesn't really, you know, look at something. Uh, but what you can also do is click on follow curve and that is gonna make him switch there. So wherever you choose to move your camera, say like this, he's gonna go there. But that presents a problem if we want the camera to be like looking around and looking at something as it moves. And that's the problem this guy is going to solve. So we'll go back to the camera and add one more constraint and that's going to be track to. And so the camera's gonna to track to something, in that case, this object here. And so what we're gonna do is here, click on the target, click on that empty, and bam, notice that camera tracks to that thing. So if we move this object here, notice that camera's gonna look here. And that's what this whole rig, that's the problem this rig solves, is not needing to animate everything. So you just animate one object, and this camera is going to follow suit. So if I move this object here, he's just gonna stare at that object. But also, if I move this object, camera's gonna stare at that. And, 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 and uh, one of the problems this is gonna solve for you, say you have like a spaceship animation and the spaceship is just kind of moving through like a corridor and you want your camera to kind of follow it. Well, if you don't have a rig, you move the object and then you move the, you animate the object moving around and then you animate the camera moving. Those are two different things and that presents a nightmare. Uh, but what you can do instead is just animate the spaceship moving around and then get the camera to track to an object on the spaceship. Now the camera's gonna follow it. You only need to animate one thing. That's what's important about this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring my object back in and we're gonna make an animation just to really show you the power of this and just kind of have fun so you can follow along or you can just kind of watch. Uh, I am actually going to go ahead and make my camera a little more wide angle, something like that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this circle and I'm gonna bring it down and uh, let's go ahead and animate that. So I'm gonna click on the keyframe, go to the very end, and we're gonna go up. And notice how that looks, it's really cool. Um, and so you can kinda have, now we have this animation going up like this. And then what we can do is we have another point of animation is we can click on the constraints here, animate that. So I'm gonna click on the keyframe, go to the end, and just kinda move it, whatever uh, you wanna do. And now if we press play, we're moving around and it's really cool. And you know, maybe it's a little dizzying. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and clear keyframes so we can go back and really see how this moves. 
and this is the camera rig, and I only had to animate two different things. I didn't have to animate the camera to kind of move it. Uh, it all works together. They all speak to each other in a proper way. Uh, and this is just a very basic camera rig, but it allows uh, flexibility and allows you to kind of do whatever you want. And again, if you want to move the camera, you just move it with that empty, just like that. Uh, but with that being said, that's the rig. That's how this works. Um, it's very simple to, to use, very simple to set up, but it allows a lot of power and control and you know less keyframing everything and super annoying. Uh, but with that being said, that's it. Um, again, Black Friday sale, 50% off everything. You can use the code linked in the description. Uh, but with that being said, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next tutorial.